here is a video I really hoped I wouldn't ever be making. What is happening investors? It is your boy Jack. I am not a financial advisor. I got the clothing line to prove that fact. And Wire Course Group drops nearly 50% after the EV company is passed over for the USPS contract. Now I have tried recording this video a few times already. I tried to create a script etc and it's just not working out. So I'm just going to go freestyle. As most of you will be aware, I've been covering Warcore stock for over six months now. We've had the CFO of the company on the channel several times. We have done as much due diligence, I like to believe, as humanly possible into this company. And you know what? It really sucks to see what is happening now. So I'm sure you're all aware that yesterday it came out that Warcore did not win the USPS contract and it led to this huge sell-off. It's currently sitting at about 1647. In all honesty, that's not too bad at all. They did create those lows of about 1250. I know it's obviously an absolutely terrible result, but they could definitely have gone lower yesterday, in my opinion. A lot of us first got onto Workhorse. If I go back right around here, you'll see they went on this huge run up from about $2 a share. They initially peaked out up in the 20s and they came down, okay? And they regulated in, you know, the mid 13s to the 17s to 18s. And so this is actually where a lot of people built the majority of their positions. And a lot of people have a cost base somewhere between $15 and $20. So this wasn't even too bad. Now guys, I'm going to keep it real with you as I always do on this channel. I did sell out of my position at $13.50. With the intention of looking to get back in. But a lot of things changed with Workhorse when this contract was announced. First and foremost, the valuation. And I just want to make it extraordinarily clear. This is not the end of Jack Spencer Investing and Workhorse. This is a company I love and I've expressed in the past that these guys are so much more than the USPS contract. And I still stand by everything I've said in the past. I still think the C1000 is an absolutely fantastic vehicle. I think all of the partnerships that they've created this year, such as Pritchard and Pride in particular, are fantastic. And it's going to lead to them doing very well ultimately in the longer period of time. And the fact that they've only really started building these relationships over the last, let's say, four or five months. I think there's a lot of really good things to come over the next one, two, three years. But come on guys, let's be completely utterly realistic. A lot of the reason Workhorse was trading at these high valuations was because of the USPS contract. And so simply put, I didn't know what I deemed to be a fair price without the concept of a USPS contract coming through. So, I sold. It is what it is. I think I lost about $2,000. It's not the money that I care about at all. $2,000, I mean, I showed you guys my full portfolio probably last month or the start of this month. CCIV is going to cover that several times over, even if I sell at $10 a share. I mean, I don't care about the money. It's just a bit of a, it's just a bit of a tough punch to take in all honesty, because this has been such a large part of my channel and it's been what, you know, grown a lot of this community. And it sucks to see. I mean, I've expressed this in the past. I've always tried to make it extraordinarily clear that this always has been a high risk, high reward play in the short term. Now we're going to have to reevaluate everything essentially that the USPS contract is no longer you know going to us or potentially going to us hopefully nobody got burned too badly I doubt too many people did in all honesty and again I warn people every time we went above $30 a share I said if you're not willing to handle this volatility get out so that's what happened with my position that's where I stand right now with the company and I want to let you guys all be aware that I am going to be reevaluating these guys without the prospects of a USPS contract and contemplating what price I'm going to be happy to buy back into these guys. Because when I say I want Workhorse to be in my portfolio in five years' time, I mean it. When I say that I believe in the company, I mean it. But again, guys, we've always been realistic around here. We have to remember that this literally was a 2 to $3 stock before, you know, a lot of hype kicked in before we found out about the USPS contract. Do I think they go anywhere near those levels again? No. A lot has changed for the better for this company since then. I don't think we go anywhere near these levels. Do I think they could potentially go lower than the lows that were made yesterday? Potentially. I don't think anything is guaranteed for Workhorse right now at all. One more thing that needs to be remembered as well is that their next earnings are coming out on the 1st, so very soon. And look guys, I've been saying this on the channel, we don't expect them to be good. And this is something I've spoken about with the CFO on numerous occasions. This isn't going to be a particularly good quarter. There's going to be a handful, you know, of sales again. There might be some good announcements, but it's not going to be the quarter that, you know, people were hoping for six months ago. They are very much so looking forward to the next quarterly report. So that's one other thing that I believe could bring some short-term volatility to this company. And that is one day where, you know, before that happens, I'm going to have reevaluated this company and I'm going to decide where I'm going to be happy to pay. What price will I pay? But I mean, again, I want to stress that it's not about the money for me. It's, it's that it's, we've put so much work into this. And Workhorse, again, it's such a large portion of my community. It just really sucks to see. This is my first, you know, major short-term L. 
So I only lost $2,000, but keep in mind guys, Warcourse was $40 a share. From the peaks, I've lost a lot more. So my realized loss is $2,000, but you know, unrealized, we could have made a lot of money here. And another thing guys is, I, I'm a YouTuber, okay? If most of you watching this is just gonna be one person, one investor, and nobody cares what you do with your shares, and there's no pressure, it's just you. When I do anything, I'm going to be judged heavily, and that goes for any stock, but I know it work, course, it's going to be bad, and I've already seen it. I would have got judged for selling, I would have got judged for holding, you get judged for diamond hands, you get judged for paper hands, I mean, I got judged for selling a quarter, not even of my CCIV shares to go risk-free. You get judged for pretty much everything on here, and when work, course, is so heavily associated with your name, you're going to get judged very heavily here. So it did end up being Oshkosh who won the contract, so at least, you know, it was it was the competitor who I thought was in the run in that one. But I am very surprised that they just straight up won 100% of the contract. In all honesty, it, it's very odd to me with everything that's been said in the past. I mean, again, guys, we've done all of the DD. Not just me, but this community has done so much DD. Every sign pointed towards electrifying this fleet. It really did. And then we thought Joe Biden, you know, he might give it a push as well. It's 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 actually crazy. So Oshkosh Defense will finalize design of the next generation delivery vehicle, delivering up to 165,000 of the US built vehicles over the next decade. Investment is part of soon to be released 10 year plan to transform USPS into the preferred delivery service provider for the American public. Modernization to reduce USPS fleet's cost and greenhouse gas emissions as cleaner technologies such as electric powertrains, power carrier routes. Now it does say here, under the contract's initial $482 million investment, Oshkosh Defense will finalize the production design of the next generation delivery vehicle and will assemble 50,000 to 165,000 of them over 10 years. Straight off the bat, that is a very, very weird line. 50,000 to 165,000. I've seen a lot of people speculating. Does that mean that they haven't been given 100% of the contract? Could it be announced later on? I don't think anything leads to that in all honesty. I don't see why they would announce one part of the contract now and then another part later on. And again, the joy goes on to say, our fleet modernization also reflects the Postal Service's commitment to a more environmentally sustainable mix of vehicles. It's, it's, it's odd. I think this here really, you know really highlights a point that no matter how much DD you do and no matter what makes sense things don't always go the way you expect them to in the stock market and I think this is another very clear example of why diversification is so so important I really do feel for all of the guys who are all in on workhorse I mean that that's a tough day for anybody to take but hopefully you guys were diversified enough where this didn't really hurt I know yesterday was a terrible day all in all but hopefully workhorse didn't lead you guys to have too much pain you will see in the pre-market, they're down about 8%. I've seen them down as much as only a few percent. They've been down 10% as well. I think anything could happen. I think it's very, very difficult to say what's going to happen with Workhorse up until at least the first of next month. With earnings coming out and everything like that, it's definitely going to be volatile. And I don't know if it's going to find a bottom or find an area of consolidation over the next few days. We're going to have to wait and see. Of course, there is potential that it will. But this isn't the end of Workhorse, baby. It, it most certainly is not. And, you know, I'm excited to be able to reevaluate these guys and find a price point I'm going to be happy and then get my money back into them. I know a lot of people are asking me, you know, why didn't I just hold or why didn't I dollar cost average? And I mean, it's easy to see that when you see what happens after the fact. When you see there's a rebound or it immediately goes up 10% or whatever. There was no guarantees here and I still think there's a very real possibility that without this contract, they go down a little bit further than where I did sell. Again, I know I'm going to be judged either way. People will call me an idiot for selling or an idiot for holding. There's no pleasing everybody. At the end of the day, I just have to take care of my portfolio. So that is what I did. And again, I am looking for a potential re-entry. And who knows, it may end up being a bigger position than I ever had. What I will say is that, you know, more than likely a lot of hype is going to be lost here. Which again, from a long time perspective, could genuinely be a very good thing for this company. They can start, you know, trading. They can start acting as a company, not just a hype stock. And I think that a lot of long-term workhorse investors are going to be very happy about this. And again, I think that in five years' time when you come back to this stock chart, you're going to be very happy. It sucks to see right now. I mean, it really, really does. But this is the stock market, baby. This is the risks of it all. So again, guys, trust me, I'm feeling this one just as much as you. It's not really the money that's affecting me. It's just everything that's happened. And I really do hope that nobody was burned too hard on this one. 
Again, thankfully we are diversified and a lot of our other stocks are doing extraordinarily well. And that is the biggest lesson to be taken away from today. I mean, I, I say this a lot on the channel, you never want to be overextended. I've said it about Workhorse so many times. You always want that level of diversity so that in days like yesterday, you're going to be okay. But anyway, my friends, that's my thoughts on the whole matter. I really don't think there's much more to say. I mean, at the end of the day, it happened and it is what it is. If you are a workhorse investor, now is the time to, you know, we, we need to really start focusing on these other contracts that we have. We need to see what comes out of the next earnings report. We need to see what's said about the following earnings and we need to reevaluate things. But I do just want to say, guys, I appreciate every single one of you guys who's watched this video till the end so much. I know that when something like this happens, inevitably, I'm going to receive a huge influx of hate for being an advocate of this company. But I have to say, I also did receive a lot of love yesterday from the Discord family, from people on Instagram. Just a lot of guys looking out for me. So genuinely, it does mean a lot, guys, and it makes it a lot easier. So I genuinely do appreciate all of you from the bottom of my heart, guys. Anyway, my friends, if you watched till the end, you are a true legend. Maybe consider hitting that like button, drop me a comment, subscribe if you're new around here. All of that means the world. I hope that you all have an absolutely beautiful day and I hope the markets treat us a lot better than they did yesterday. I'll see you for another video very soon. Peace.